What's up, YouTube? We're back. Sesmania, game number 150, Uncharted Waters, and this is the finale. We're gonna finish this thing. Okay, so the last time, just to confirm, three, two, one, go. Uh, we are just trying to get the seventh quest. Meet King. Yeah, okay. So, what I'm gonna do, it is November 9th. I am just gonna park my ass on the shore. Cause we almost have all the fame we need. We might basically already have it. Cause I don't know what he's gonna ask me to do for the seventh quest. That might just give us, I, we only need like less than 1200 more fame. Yeah, it's gotta be now. Might as well look, but like, I don't even think I wanna fight pirates anymore. All right, debark, go ashore. No, debark, go ashore. All right, and let's just, let's just wait a second. Hopefully this is just gonna trigger, what's up, Zach? Hopefully this is just gonna trigger. Like just time has to pass because I tried to do different things. We definitely have enough fame according to guides and shit. We almost have enough fame to where we can just do the princess quest. Let's let it go till 2616. So chat, how was your days going? How you doing? Yo, what's up, Bubbles? What's on my mug? A dog. Yeah, what? What is this? It, it all, it's not Clifford. There's a dog. What you gonna do now? What you gonna do now? What you gonna fucking do now? Just a chonker. And again, we're not safe scumming. Whatever he's about to tell me. Assume he's about to tell me it. Yeah. Uh, one more day night cycle. Boop. Sail. Yes. Oh. Debark. Port call. People were talking yesterday in a lack attack stream. I was in there. Talking about Koei basically did a lot of shit this era. And then did they really not make much in the N64 and PlayStation era? All right. Hey, okay, that triggered it. As a, you see, Groggy Gus the Pirate is wreaking havoc in the area. If you can stop him, I'll roll your roll. Will you do it? Yes. All right, it's another pirate. Which kind of works out. We killed him already? Did we? Did we? You know what I just saved? Yeah, I'm about to say, can pirates just respawn? I've killed all the pirates, by the way. He's out to get Ramon from Portugal. Okay, he's chasing Ramon. I don't like the chasing ones.
Okay, well, let's figure it out. No, not at all. There's so much more I think you can do. Oh, that worked out exactly. Real quick, is this all fixed? Yeah, the game genuinely does allow you to have great flexibility in how you get your 25,600. Yeah, I would think pound for pound, the best thing you can do is you get rich and you just invest a lot. You just invest a shitload. Okay, well. So I am either looking for Groggy Cockbag or I'm looking for Ramon. Which... Because also, I, I just... I feel like that's probably the more interesting way to do in the playthrough. But again, you, you have the flexibility. I'm gonna, yeah, go back up here and see if he happens to go up there. Otherwise, like, I need more than that. I need more than just he chasing Ramon. Yeah, I was kind of rooting for another treasure chunt. Treasure chunt, that's right, dog. Yeah, because I think we killed him up by Oslo. Dude, even before there's some dumb fucking way that you can soft lock and he doesn't despawn or he doesn't respawn. If that somehow happened, we'd be like, uh, all right, next game. Let me go to a port that actually has a lady friend. Nah. If we somehow determined <laughs> that the game soft locked me, I'd be like, nah, <laughs> we're just done. It go the same way as Super Battle Tank did. Like, nah, we're good. The Edict ran out of water. I will say, he did specifically say around here in the area. So I'm wondering if we should have just stayed back at uh, Lisbon. Because that's the two pieces of information I have to go off of. He's chasing Ramon, and he's in the area. Yeah. 
that room. What you gonna have to do when you come and slurk that dirk? Yeah, because like I, I'm trying to even think of like where I've seen Ramon. Right, he's a Portuguese sailor. Yeah, the the quests where you're chasing a guy who's chasing a guy is, I think, one of the weak aspects of this game, I will say. Like, there's something fun about, like, okay, there's effectively two ships you're looking for. It should just be, yeah, Frederico and Luciano. Like, I could try to, like, swing around these couple screens. We still very much like Uncharted Waters. Oh. Juan's fleet. And I'm... I, unless I see Groggy Gus, I'm not going to fight any more pirates. I'm going to see if this somehow just gives us enough fame to where we've got the 25-6. And then otherwise, I'm going to go invest in Oslo. Give you the spike opinion. I think it's good. It's just Koei does things just to kind of inflate the length of the game. But in a lot of ways, like I'm definitely a sucker for just go out and explore the world, right? I love finding all the different ports and everything. We only got to find one treasure in the playthrough, but that was really cool. Going and doing quests for people has been fun. Okay, so there was a... North 30... Okay, we actually got some coordinates. North 35, West 50, which means they're all the way over dirt. Now, I think this is going to be enough. I think this... We just drew another one. This is, if you want my opinion, this is the worst aspect of the game. When they're like, hey, go kill this specific pirate. Where is he? Somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> Which, if it was as simple as sailing out there, okay. But you have to feed all these mouths. There have been a couple times where it's asked me to hunt down a pirate, but like I could narrow it down pretty well. current bow pushing against us. If you're Prism, you need me to find this fucker pretty fast.
Yeah, we're just gonna go out sailing and see if we are able to find anything. Survey, we're at 4025 right now. What up, Prism? I was like, you need me to find this dude pretty fast. I feel like he's probably on his way back to their, eventually the pirate home base of uh, Northern Southern America. Or whatever is it, 085. Is that even still Mexico? If I don't see him this time, we're gonna... We'll reset, we'll cycle back, and we'll see if we can get a read on... Is he going or is he coming? Yeah, so this was the screen where he was last seen. But again, I didn't have a tell on, is he coming this way? Is he going another, is he going back? I haven't seen Ramon's fleet either. The game, I think just in these instances, they had to give the player, I think, a little more information. Because I like, in theory, the idea of maybe they give you a little less information, but you're effectively looking for one of two boats. I'm either looking for Ramon's fleet or Groggy Gus's fleet. Because definitely when we found Sigmund and Freud, whoever it was, it was just raw luck. I was out in the middle of the fucking ocean and he just popped up. I, I don't know, but I don't think that's how this works. I don't think that's how this works. I think you always have it available. Now, maybe there's something where it would sink Ramon. But, like, obviously, like, the quest has to be open until you finish it. Again, I'm slightly assuming that, but... What you gonna do now? What you gonna do now? Yeah, sound defense. Again, though, in the coming up on 27 hours, this is only the second time the game has done this. The rest of the game has genuinely be, been very fun, shockingly engaging. Uh, Richard, I'm at like. 24,400. Legitimately, this guy killing him might just give me the rest that I need. Yeah, we're very close. At most, if this only gives me like 700, then I'm gonna go just invest up in Oslo until I'm at 25.6. And then that should give me enough to where I can do the Save the Princess quest.
Again, we're, we're gonna save Scum back. Let me see if he happens to be over here. I think this is the one that doesn't have a waitress at it. Oh, no, this one does. North 55, West 30. The inverse. This sort of lines up with where we found Singleton. So yeah, it might be one of those where we just got to drive up to Lisbon and then just... I mean, he went even further north. A genuinely fun gameplay loop. Even when you just are chasing and fighting pirates, but it's not this specific across the Atlantic. Like, it's a good time. It's fun to build up your fleet. Because another strategy we could try to employ is just park at Lisbon. See if Ramon just stops by. Because again, there's also the piece of information that he said, Groggy Gus in the area. I think he specifically said the king. What are we up to at this point? 50-30. I mean, at 5530, you know he's assuming he keeps a route. Like, he's theoretically eventually gonna be there in the not-too-distant future. That's actually something I haven't thought about. Is you could try to go off of information, like, right back there. And say, all right, what date was that? I just try to time it out to where you're there. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about it. Uh, that's actually like kind of a valid strategy. Yeah. 
Yeah, which... I, I don't know. I think that's like... Not a bad assumption to make. Alright, sounds good, Prism. Have a good day, bud. Yeah, I don't know how valid what I'm doing is. What are we at? 50, 25? I did the, I dropped to 80 men a boat. I think the game has been way more playable since we did that. Oh, 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 oh. Who that? It's a pirate, but not the right pirate. again? Did he screen wrap? Because kind of what I was hoping is I am finding generally the way maybe the pirates like to funnel. Like maybe they all go this general route. So that 41 days of water. Well, the sequel to this, New Horizons, comes out in 94, which is another, like, 300 games from now. There's some clunky menus, but this is truly the only just, like, poopy part of the game. Dude, Stinger, fuck off, dude. Stinger's in here. They're lurking. I'm sorry. Damn. Getting hard pushed by the wind, dude. Yeah, the wind and the current, man. God damn. I'll tell you what. We need to feel out what day he's there and then see if we can try to just be there on that day i think that might be how you got to do this i'm effectively gonna try to pull a marty mcfly and pull some time travel shit
Okay, so it's November 28th. This day doesn't really matter. He's probably sailing for Nova Granada. It's South Zero, West 85. Okay, now let's find out a day. We are basically going to time travel now, or we're just going to move time. <laughs> Moving forward isn't necessarily time travel, I guess. He was last seen at North 40, West 45. It's been two days. Would I even be able to get there in time? Yeah, that's way, yeah. Okay, so on November 30th. Yeah, that's, uh, that's information. He's probably sailing for her. Uh, uh. Yeah, I gotta get an update on that. So we heard a November 30th and December 1st, he was in North 40, West 45. That's, I need to get a few days out, like at least a week or so. Hey, what'd he say? North 40, West 45 still? Okay. Give it a shot. I, I'm going to get, let me get like two weeks of info, honestly. Because I, I don't think we would get there fast enough. I could be wrong. All right, all the way through December 4th. Yeah, like, you probably, every tile you go, you probably spend, like, a day. And we're too many tiles out. 45, 40? He was, okay, so on December 5th, Theoretically, he will get to North 45, West 40. Yeah, which I'm... I, I tell you what, let's, let's just see. Let's just see. This is to give Prism a shot, dude. This is to give Prism a shot. Now, if all this happens, and then the princess is not the eighth quest, then, all right, we're going to beat PTO. Might still beat PTO. But certainly Subasa wins. So we are at, we're either at 45 or 40 right now. Uh, and I believe this should be 10. Right? Seville is 40, 10. So I need to go six screens west and one screen north. Yeah, 
Yeah, November 30th. What's up, House Reaper? Dude, we are at, we're at like the end, basically. I gotta hunt down this pirate. I'm probably ending this on hunting down two pirates. Cause I think you saved the princess from pirates. All right, it is December 4th. North 40. Yeah, I think it, it takes too long, man. December 5th. December 6th. Not, uh, not necessarily. I need to push it a little further into the future. Yeah. You gotta know, like, the next like two weeks of route. Well, no, it's, I need all the information over the course of like, at least like 10, 15 days. Depends on how far out he is. Like from here, if you wanted to keep going, you could just hope he inside. But if he's bound for that, that means, see, he was coming back to shore. No, I'm going to test that right now. God, I drew two Atlantic Ocean pirate chases. Really? Really? Well, so the problem is, Grid, we did that for the first pirate that was like this, and it was the worst part of the game. Yeah, so I'm gonna redo this and see if it keeps the same RNG roll. He's heading for 80, 80, or 0, 85. He was last seen at 40, 45. Stuck a pecan pie with a graham cracker crust out. Ooh! Pecan pie was definitely that pie that was super underrated as a child. I grew up and I was like, oh, wait, it's that good shit. I'm resetting till I get coordinates. The information last time. Was that all until December, all the way through December 4th, it's basically reading North 40, West 45, which is too far. I can't get there fast enough from this point. Ah, that is stinky doo doo fart. That is stinky doo doo fart. 
these quests are so bad. These quests are just bad, man. Which implies he was going up this way. So like, if he's heading that way, see, that implies that he is not going towards 085. Because he went up and east. I tried those out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go towards Oslo. Yeah, if you're wondering how I found Singleton, literally in the middle of the ocean. Literally just the middle of the ocean. I think it will be slightly more advantageous for me to stop at Lisbon. Man, that is just stinky doo doo fart. It also directly contradicts what they were saying earlier. He's heading for 085. I mean, I guess like they could change coordinates, right? This is not the final quest. I drew another shitty find a pirate in the middle of the ocean quest. We are tra chasing Groggy Gus. Dude, I was really hoping that was going to be the way to track it. I was really hoping that was going to be the, we were going to write down basically what his next like 10 moves were going to be. Like his next like two weeks of movement. And then I was going to reset my save, hoping the RNG would stay. Oh, I went up way too high, dude. Yeah, but supposedly he's moving. I just want, yeah, just go back like two screens. Like, I don't know if he's going to Oslo, like what he's doing. Because if he's going to 085, I don't know at what point he, like, cuts down. I don't know if he's going in box movement. Oh, Koei, these quests were bad. I was hoping at least game devs look back and go, yeah, we shouldn't have done that. That just makes the game stupid. It doesn't make it better, it just makes it stupid. Where? 
Am I stupid? I feel like we're gonna catch him the same way, dude, as Singleton. We're just gonna drive generally west of Lisbon and just hope we see him. Oh yeah, did I determine, is there just not? No, there is a, there's a waitress here. No, you can't. And I think I figured out if you do refuse it, then it just pushes everything back. He's sailing for Nova Granada, which would not. You guys see that? That contradicts it. Yeah, the way you do it is you would have had to make a save at some point before he gives it to you. But yeah, like there's the possibility that if you refuse it, from what I was able to gather online, if you straight up refuse one of his requests, then I uh, I won't get the princess quest at 25,600. I would get it at the 32,000 point. He was last seen at North 50, West 25. <sighs> no, but he'll be gone by the time we get there. Yeah, like this is one of those, you run into these moments in like all these old games where just, there's like one thing that had to be changed. And this is that. They needed something here to give the player a little more information. Yeah, we're, we're gonna win this by just randomly sailing west of Lisbon and we will hopefully just see him in the middle of the ocean. That's it. And I could try to like zigzag between screens like I was doing. Fifty West thirty five. See, that is implying he's not going very fast. Yeah, that's I I agree. Like, the fact that they made it the worst fucking port in the entire world makes it if it was just a screen that was normal. Yeah, go to Nova Granada, park your ship, and wait for them to come home. Yeah, this is gonna be how we do this. God, what an absolutely fucking toxic concept, dude. I'm gonna try just letting myself run west.
Yeah, Lisbon is 50 north. Yeah, I was gonna say, this would imply that it is simply go west from Lisbon and then just go straight down. I think we had theorized if he go if they go south. Like, again, probably your best coverage is doing something like I'm doing here. I admittingly got lucky that I didn't see a different aspect of this game that apparently is really shitty. Where the merchants can be like, I want you to go get me 200 crates of this thing that only I sell. Therefore, I'm not just taking all your fame away. I'm making you waste three hours swimming around the entirety of the world before I take that fame from you. Yeah, I thought about just being like, uh, I'm just going to swim in these four corners like we were doing back there. Oh, baby, the wind saying, fuck you, dude. Okay, I, I guess we're just going this way. For a big boat, you get pushed around, dude. Same thing, dude. To know boats are completely fixed. Yeah, I would assume. Oh, dude. I got pushed at a diagonal up half the fucking screen, dude. Also, this is super fun while hunting. Well, <laughs> Prism's done in 17 minutes. Subasa will have won the season, so GG's. <laughs> oh, honestly, I believe Zach that Zach thought I was gonna beat this in 20 hours. I drew two piece of shit quests. Absolute fucking pieces of dog shit, dude. Yeah, because again, the other two, the other five quests that we've drawn from the king, we're like, hey, you just finished them. The quests either take 15 minutes or six hours. And I mean, even these, like, I, there's a potential you just, oh my God, it's Singleton. And you just found him in five minutes.
About to reset again, dude. I, and again, I decided I did not want to save Scum the Quests. I was like, nope, I want the game to give me the RNG it's going to give me. That is, Kalei, what are you doing? What are you doing? In what world is this a good gameplay concept? Like I'm going all the way to 085, dude. As, for anyone who didn't see the singleton chase, if you're like, what's so bad about just waiting at this port? Oh, let me show you. Like by now, like he's gone. Like he's halfway back. A hundred percent. He's just halfway back. Is I just drove by him. Koei, you gotta give the player more than this, man. You absolutely have to give the player more than this. So the port, is it two screens from now? Yeah, it is the next screen. This is the fucking screen. There's your port. You have three tiles. So you only see the pirate ship for one frame. Then you got to get back on the boat. You got to start running. And they can randomly spawn in those other corners. So you have one frame to react to him showing up. And then by the time you get on your boats and get out on the screen, they're gone. You cannot catch them. There has to be some level of like, you see where they are and you can like trap them in. They say he's sailing for us. Okay, then here's what's going to fucking happen. Here's what's gonna fucking happen. We're gonna suck his nuts. I want you to restock me. If he's truly still bound for this shit, if the game's not fucking lying, I'm gonna commit and we're gonna save right here. Here's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna wait for him, but I'm not waiting here. Dude, yeah, the fact that he can spawn in the upper, the holy shit, dude. Yeah, 
Yeah, about about ten and a half minutes from now. It's locked up. Now, this was maybe if this was the last quest. I'm going till I see a pirate ship. Like, this is the best strategy I can think of to catch him. Now, the problem is this probably is making time move slow as fucking molasses. Ah! Okay, I didn't want to chase him, dude. That's sick. That's their flagship. I sink that. We dub. Yep, coming for me. Yeah, so we just drove by him at some point. Okay, did 20, did 20. Please die. Dead. Okay. God. The jeweled ladle. Oh, so can those be treasure hunts? Like you gotta kill a pirate for it? Uh, okay, that's kinda cool.
All that happened was they killed a few of my men in Edict. I'm just going home. Back to the king, drop this off. See what my fame level is? I know it was probably not going to go this way. And then we are just going to invest in Oslo. We'll see how much fame that gives us. I bet you I need like 500 fame from investing in Oslo. We did. Honestly, I think what I did was a decently cute little strat. I gotta go up six screens. Yeah, which the wind is pushing us up, so. Just go until it stops pushing us. Wind still wants to push us up. The edict ran out of food. Everybody's gonna die. What you are gonna have to do? Will this pass PTO in time? I, unless this last quest is fucking miserable. I think the only way it passes it is uh, if the princess is not available at 25 six. Five whole ass whores, dude. I just need to go 13 screens east. T minus less than three minutes. Damn, legitimately Prism won if he just picked one second below C Miles. I I don't know. I don't know how bad. Cause I'm pretty sure the last one is just I, you gotta find the pirates. That's what I know about it. Subasa might have nailed how long this was gonna take, like practically on the head. God, two, two Atlantic Ocean pirate hunts, man. Is the last one the Atlantic Ocean? I don't know where. I don't even know if it's pirates. I just know you have to save the princess in a battle. Cool world? Oh yeah, the brackets are closed. So here's some of my projections for next season, chat. That's gonna start hopefully here today, pretty soon. I think Cool World's gonna be dog shit. I think Cool World's gonna be fucking atrocious, dude. I, the four worst looking games to me are Cool World, uh, Sim Earth, um, uh, Outlander and Terminator. I think they look awful. Cool. I don't know if I quite have it as a one. It's like maxed. It'll be a three. I think it looks fucking awful. Okay. So what's my fame level? Did that somehow give me enough? Nope, okay, I need 507 fame, which 
Off to Oslo we go, man. Yeah. I don't, I think at best, Simmerth will be mildly interesting, but it does not, like, Simmer does not look like a video game. Yeah. I think a three is a fine prediction. I might even in future seasons, just to encourage, like, more aggressive picking. Like, oh, I want to nail this one. Um, I could see myself making it Okay, anything, you know, so if you guess it's a four and then it's a three, you gain one point, you know. But if you nail it, you actually take a point off to encourage more aggressive, like, dude, I'm put, that's a one, right? Yeah, it doesn't pay to be aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that next season, that's what I'm going to do. Because, yeah, I actually like Kuiper's strategy, he said, going in. He basically was like, I gave everything a three or a six. If I thought it looked decent, he gave it a six. If I thought it looked like shit, I gave it a three. Done. Oh, uh, I didn't. Uh, I mean, I think I, yeah, we have. It's about to roll over the month. I've, 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 I'll be honest, I never really processed what this was. Because that's where you have the safest percentages. And if you look, I give threes and sixes a lot. Let me just give him to like 45,000. Obviously the best is if you watch enough of my content. You can start to project like, okay, this really looks like a four for Spike or a three or a seven or whatever. Okay, yeah. So I invested a bunch. Now, do I need it to roll over to the next month? Like, at worst... Oh, by the way, congrats to Sub Subasa. Officially has won season one. In a shockingly close race. Yeah, if I want to, I can just go kill a pirate. Yeah, so here's my... We After this, I'll go over my... Uh, it took till the 87th hour of this to figure out. So that's good. Subasa will get a $50 gaming gift card of his choice. And he gets to pick a stream that'll be here at the start of September after we finish this 700 hour push. We're coming up on halfway through it. 10 minutes away from seven from 650. Truly, if I draw probably one of the two shitty pirate quests instead of two, then Prism probably wins. Bark, go ashore. I'm just gonna wait till March 1st. This should be February 28th. Oh. 
But yeah, I'll give, I don't think I quite have the same perception of doom and gloom. I think this season is going to end up being one of the weakest seasons. But I still think there's a lot of games that, yeah, I, I think could surprise us. Okay, so we did a bunch of investing. Okay, then I don't... I, then I guess I'm looking for one more pirate. Is I, I, Before I leave, Zach, Pluv, anybody you might know, is there a reason why all of a sudden I'm not getting stuff for fame? I invested about 21000 there. Is this place like spent? I haven't really understood this. Because if so... Because I already have them allied with Portugal. They don't get more fame? See, I thought I did this last month. So theoretically, could I just go dump this down in Hamburg? See, I thought we did this. They switch alliances every so often. Okay. Oh, okay. Then let's uh, let's try this. Man, I just had to win one more pirate battle, and that would have been enough. I should have killed what's his fuck on the way. But honestly, I don't think that was the best place to do it, anyways. They are a neutral port. Yeah, I'm definitely going to beat the game without understanding all of the elements to how to make this work. And I'm clearly doing some sort of exploit, right? Because I'm giving a thousand at a time. So I haven't gained it yet. So do I need to get the Portugal number to like a hundred? Or do I need to just wait for it to be April now? You need to get it to 80. you gonna do when you slurp that dirt? I had to fight one more pirate, dude. Okay, 94. Ah! So now have I spent, like, would I get more or do I need to go do this in London now? For anyone wondering, I need 120 more. London time, okay. London Bridge. And blow my balls. Blow my balls, blow my balls. Okay, over to London. Give them a, f just give them like all my cash. God, yeah, cause the whole time I was like investing, but I didn't know like how much I had to invest. Like, when I had to invest, what had to be going on. I think here at the very end, I finally understand. You know what?
Yeah, 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 yeah. Now this is slower than if I had just went and invested. Title Tim, my man, my bitch. Let's take this. Make them out to come around a little more. While investing isn't, yes. Yeah, exactly, Andy. You that's basically your you can pay to win. Is that I just get rid of this guy? Okay. I think just clearing about. Yeah, a little awkward. Investing ups the general market of the. Uh, I feel like you're going to be a little congested here. Open up the pathway. Um, it makes it to where you can generally like buy more ships from them. Uh, or buy better ships. You can buy uh, just better goods from them. And it also just ups uh, effectively the, the I don't know, I guess the loyalty rating but with like different countries, like for you it'd be for Portugal. Yeah, and they'll also buy shit off of you for more because their market value should be a lot higher. Uh, we did, we finished it. I'm literally getting my last hundred points I need right now. Yeah, we're kind of weirdly. Yeah, just gotta take this. Four, five, and seven were pirates, and two of them were shitty pirates. Two of them were. They're somewhere in the Atlantic on the way to the shittiest fucking port. Singleton and uh, Groggy Gus or whatever. 
He was the seventh one. The fifth guy, we just, uh, uh, Ivan or whatever. Yeah, he thankfully just died. Like, he was not in the Atlantic. GG! Alright, and let's just stop in London. <laughs> All that investing and then I just did it like that. And you know what? Just to save some time. Debark, go ashore. You can tell it's fucked up. Dude, everybody's rudders got fucked up. Actually. All the others just a little bit. I'm definitely, if this is gonna end up being one more sea battle, the fact that it kicks you all the fucking way. Like, they knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. I, you cannot tell me they didn't know what they were doing. Oh, nope. All right, time to kick you all the fucking way out. Oh, and again, the game is arbitrary. Some menus confirm is B. Yes. Jesus H. Fucking Christ, man. That is insane. All right. All right. That's a million percent confirm. We've got our... It's going to say 26 something. Twenty six thousand ninety one. Okay. Make sure I've got enough men. Ow. Which eh, let's just go back for now. Cause he'll give me a certain amount of free ones. I might as well. And yeah, give me some lumber, honestly. All right. And I wouldn't be surprised if the king is like, eh, you, you, you gotta wait a minute. What was the how long to beat? Because we're going to be shockingly close to how long to beat. I feel like this game, I understand why this took um, uh, Batista 42 hours. Because again, you kind of like, I was like, it's nuts. He doesn't look up anything. Like, I would at the very least, I was like, no, 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 chat, don't help me or anything. I would at the very fucking least be like, hey, how, what is the goal of this game? Because everybody who comes in here is like, is like, uh, so how do you beat this? 
Uh, but Jesus is all like, he, he had no idea how to beat it. He just did shit for 42 hours and then the game ended. How many pirate chases Batista rolled? Yeah, but again, like you, you don't know. Like I had the benefit of, I knew the eight numbers where I would start to, but okay, go back to the king now. It was, you might go on a like six hour journey around the planet and then come back. He reads the manuals, he does. But this is one of those where the manual does not tell you how to beat this game. Okay, yeah. So he's not ready to tell you anything yet. Yeah, that is by far the biggest number he's ever offered me. March 20th, let's sit it short for another like, let's sit it short for like two minutes. I'm gonna go fill up on water. This has been just over seven years in game time. So that's why I'm always down for like, I do enough research to be like, what is the goal of the game? How many levels are there, right? Debark. No. Debark. Go ashore. Yes. And we're just gonna chill for a second. Just wait. I'm gonna go fill up on water when we come back, chat. I'm literally just going to get water. I'll come around back. And we'll, uh, we'll see if the king wants to give us our final quest. Oh yeah, right. If, if, yeah, if it's a battle, then if it's a battle and you don't do any pirate fights, I mean, I don't know how much the stats make a difference. Cause I don't know how hard this last fight is. Like if you did it all level one, I wonder how much battling the speed run does. Then while we're here, I'm so glad we can meet. Your words are such a comfort to me. Nothing but your safe return will calm my fears. I'll be praying for your good health, dear princess. Profess love! Your kindness fills me with joy. Fairly well. I'm still getting friend zoned!
this jeweled ladle. <laughs> oh, nice. Bye. I'm still getting friends up. I, I, I don't. I don't know if this has anything to do with it. Here's a candlestick. Oh, thanks. Toss. Here's an ivory fucking box. Here's my candlestick. Oh, that's what they're calling it these days. All right. Here, let's go back out the shore and I will give y'all my, here's my projections for the next season of Sasmania. The only game now now while while I don't think this will be as doom and gloom as we maybe think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a longer season. I said 150 through 165. I think is going to be boop. I think it's gonna be really long. I don't necessarily think it's all gonna be bad games. I think the my, if I had to guess right now, I think the worst game of the season is going to be Outlander. I think that thing's going to be dog shit. Fucking awful. I think Terminator's going to suck. I think Cool World's going to suck. And I think Sim Earth, while maybe on paper will be have made fine, I I, I think it's going to be really boring. I think, I think Sim Earth's going to be a shitty stream. Um, the only game that I think is a certified it's gonna be good is Buster Bust Loose. That's gonna get like an eight. Just eight. if you, anybody, if you put a number other than eight, maybe seven, then you're losing points there. Yeah, just keep waiting. Just a second. Um, there are, though, I would say about 10 more games that I think are like, they could be fun. They have the potential. I don't know if there are any other eights, maybe Star Fox, maybe Star Fox, but I think there's like 10 games that could land in the six, maybe seven region. I would say of those... I think Aerobiz is a sleeper. I think Pugsley Scavenger Hunt is a sleeper. I think Inundo Way of the Ninja is a sleeper. Star Fox would be in that group. And then I would say like Super Ninja Boy and Tom and Jerry. I think the two biggest wild cards are going to be toys and spin dizzy worlds. I think there's a world for either one of those games. They could be, genuinely could be like sevens. They could be ones. I, the range there, cause I think they were really, really hard to get a read on. I think there's a world where they would be, yeah, and I know, I like looking at the form, a lot of people put a one on toys. To note, Batista liked toys. Yeah, but I think Spin Dizzy looks like one of those that, like, yes, it's gonna control like shit. The first five, 10, 15, maybe 20, 30 minutes you're gonna play. So it's hard to know, like, once you get the feel for it 
is it gonna be fun? If you go by SNES rankings, his his rankings would have been Buster Bus Loose 1, Star Fox 2, then a big drop. Nothing else landed inside the top 200. His third, I think looks kind of crappy. Not awful. I think Super Valus 4 looks bad. I think Super Valus 4 looks bad. Not even Super Ninja Boy? Oh, did I not, did I not just say Super Ninja Boy? <laughs> Do you want to race it? Well, that's, that's over 100 games now. We'll talk about it. Yeah, I had Super Ninja Boy as my... No, he's actually got Super Ninja Boy, I think, down in like the 400s. It seems like the general perception of that game is it's like fine, but not great. Yeah, between SNES Drunk, SNES Rankings, and Batista doing a super side quest, everybody thinks the game is like pretty eh. You put that in the top 100, damn. I got like, I go, I genuinely go in with an open mind. Uh, okay, thank you for coming. Something terrible has happened and I need your help. The princess has been kidnapped. I think the villains will demand a ransom suit. You've got to rescue her. Okay. Uh, yeah, withdraw. All right, we are entering the, yeah. <laughs> that'd have been the worst shit ever if that did not spawn. All right, where are they? The tattoo kid, the pirate. That tattoo kid, the pirate. He's on the lookout for your ship. Oh, are they just gonna come for me? Yeah, it's a pirate. I wonder if that act, <laughs> no, I, I, maybe no one knows, I don't know. I wonder if that is because I gave her so much shit. I don't know. All right, stock up. You think I'm gonna love Mystical Ninja Star and Goemon for N64? We got a lot of buds who love it. Yeah, I know you were you were saying that you were pretty high on it. Yeah, maybe. They're apparently looking for me. Oh, Andrew, Fla oh, you know. Should I just chill on the shore? 
Are they like literally gonna come to me? I wish for this would be where. Yeah, fuck it, dude. 160 of each. Happy 28 mark, hour mark, chat. Only the second game and the second Koei game. That has reached this point. Sure, like this. You made it this far, youngster, but this is where you die. So you're the rat who kidnapped Christiana. Prepare to fight. Oh, Spike, please save me. Hold on, I'll rescue you. Um. Ah. I'm just gonna take this. Because I kind of want to leave a space where my ship to the right can move up and a little out of its out of harm's way. Let's see if I can just sink this thing. With extreme prejudice. Yep, we are in the final battle, dude. Damn, Subasa about fucking nailed this. <laughs> and I would assume they don't try to escape. I mean, maybe they do if they get heavily crippled. Um, he'll have range on both of them. Yeah, you know what? Move up. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's not gonna be that complicated. Yeah, let me see if we can just sink this ship. I cannot.
They moved in firing range of my dick. You can either take the bait or you go up and also chase him. Um, this wouldn't kill this ship. I almost feel like Try to slow them down a little bit with Edic. This is the final battle, Layra. I need like two good shots on they dick. Yeah, this is going to rank shockingly high for me. Is that the dub? Bonded. Yeah, not quite. They just can't let us win that easily. If they somehow sink E Dick, sorry. <laughs> I'll salute your shorts. See you, dog. <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, they took a big chunk out of my dick. Dude, blast with room 80s. Victory smiled down on Spike as the enemy flagships roared into flames. Where's the princess? Don't worry, she's safe now. Heroic Captain Spike rescued Princess Christiana from the enemy. Spike, how can I ever thank you? We're thankful for your safe return, Princess Christiana. Captain, restrain yourself until we've seized the treasure. Captain, your battle skills improved. Nicholas, your battle skills improved. Fuck yeah. On May 15, 1509, Captain Spike won a great victory at sea. Here are spoils. Some cash. Wait, wait, no. What? <laughs> Anything cool? They gotta have something cool, right? No, I'm just a fuckload of cotton, dude. All right. The only other problem would be if I couldn't get to shore. Uh, 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 uh. Two more tiles. Oh, boys, we're going home! We're going home, boys! <laughs> GG's! Woo! 28 hours, 
10 minutes and 12 seconds. Damn, Subasa got so close. Like to a fucked up degree, Subasa. Subasa was like 10 minutes off. Sir Spike, my thanks for saving Christiana. In addition, you have routed the pirates. You are truly the bravest of them all. <laughs> you are too kind. There are no words that can express my appreciation. I shall award you as you please. Ask me for anything. Suck my dick. Oh, uh, okay. What do you want? Land, princess, honor, refuse. Dog, I want some pussy. I desire Princess Christiana's hand in marriage. Oh my, Spike! He's gonna say, fuck you. There must be a greater power at work here. Yet my daughter is my only child. I have planned for her to marry into Spain. Fuck you! Father, please, I can marry no one but Spike! Hmm. <laughs> Sir, you don't understand. She's really hot. She will always be happy with me, sire. Sire, please. And it's settled, Sir Spike. I will transfer. What was he doing? What? What? Your Majesty? The reins? Well, like I'm king? I'm so happy. Thank you, Father. That text was the best. I will strive for Christiana and the good of Portugal. Oh, he just handed that shit over, dog. I'm the king. As of this day, you are king of Portugal. Let's go. My blessings are with you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. A pirate sight for you. Yard. What? Oh, we got the kiss! Yay! Made out with a right in front of her dad. Um, no, that was seven years in game time. We were 23. 23! <laughs> I mean, life expectancy was lower. Time to reload and do the other endings. Do the other ones genuinely give you different endings? King Spike went on to lead Portugal into a new age of prosperity. And those sailors with ambition still aglow embarked for the high seas. Different flavor text, that guy. I don't really like you don't necessarily marry the princess. Yay! Ooh. Yeah, it was almost exactly like seven years, three months. Get fucking charted. I like. It's funny thinking this was only like four hours shorter than PTO. And I know it's easy to pick on PTO. Just because like it's what we have to compare it to up here. This. This was actually paced really well. Uncharted waters. In the age of exploration. Like I was I was never bored. I will say that. When those with courage challenge the unknown. A glorious page in the great book of history. Yeah, PTO, I was like, I don't want to do eight hours of this. I was like dreading past the like four or five hour mark. Whereas, honestly, I was fine with doing eight. I did 10 hours the second day. The further fucking end. I thought that was going for a T, but then it was Finn. All right, gamers. 
Where are we ranking it? So I had said I was settling on either a low seven or a high six. It's my king of Koei so far is still Romance of the Three Kingdoms 2. It's a seven. It is gonna rank overall 35th out of 150. Below NHL 93, above Strike Gunner STG. Again, pacing wise, I was actually very happy with the game. Pacing was actually the game was fine. I, I never was bored or anything. Genuinely, one of my like 10 favorite gaming moments of Sasmania so far was literally just passing through the Northeast Passage. It felt like there was so much at stake there. The music, the way it went with it, not knowing if we were gonna make it. It was, I, I love it. It was like magical. Um... There was obviously like systems like I, I I agree. I wish we had gotten one or two more. Go find treasures. I that would have been a lot more enjoyable than obviously the shittiness that was find the pirates in the Atlantic Ocean. If I had figured out the strategy I did to catch Groggy Gus or whatever at the end, I do think finding uh fuck boy would have been easier. But fuck boy Simon Garfunkel or whatever. He uh he was the first pirate I tried to fight. So Do I think I'll ever retroactively change scores like when Simon Jr. six or seven look at your list thinking those border games no longer reflect six or seven. I've thought about it at times. I kind of occasionally will just look at my list and be like, did I have this too high, too low? But I also, I think there's value in the first time you play something. Like, not even just the first time you play it, because I don't want to play it's gonna like nostalgia or anything. But I am fresh off of, I just did all 28 hours of this. I think it would be really easy to look back like a year later and be like, yeah, why did I give that like a six or a four or a two or, you know, it's, I'm coming, it's raw. I just came off of it. Yeah, except he would have lost because he went over. If he goes over, you lose. Was PTO really that bad? Yeah. Like, I actually was thinking it during the shuffler the other day. I was like, did I somehow let Home Alone 1 and 2 off the hook by giving them 4s? I was like, no, I literally had just played them. And like, especially do not change your opinion based on what you, based on in a fucking shuffler. A shuffler makes all games look worse. They really do. Nah, they're fours. They're f like they're again. A four is not a glowing review. A four is below the fun level. A four is just like ah. Eh. I I stand by. I think those games are over are over uh, over hated. They are not twice as good as Bart Simon. Oh yeah, they are. Oh oh, I will die on that hill. Oh, yeah, they are. But that's great. We all have opinions. We can all have different tastes. Dude, Bar Spoon. Bart's Nightmare's garbage. Bart's Nightmare is so bad. You are like one of the five Bart's Nightmare truthers in the world. You are! You are a Bart's Nightmare truther, dog. Like, have you... Did we play different games? P 
PTO was 100% the third team, George. It's weird. Like, all the other co I mean, the three we've played so far, have felt like, yeah, that looks like the same dev team. A PTO, they had, like, their, their Q team on it, dude. It was weird. If Terminator ranks higher than Bart, we got a problem. I'll give it away. I don't think it's going to rank higher. But we'll see. I don't know. I'm making Sarah play Bart Nightmare. I get Sarah. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do that. I think it would be fun stream content. And you should let me know a day you're going to do it. Like you do like a donkey seed. Or you do them into a donkey seed. I'd be more than happy to raid you. So we can watch, again, like 10, like 5, 10, 15 minutes of each of the games. And then go to the next one. It's literally as much as you want to do down to you could do none. So. Anyways, Uncharted Waters. It was fun. I'm giving it a 7. I think the good far outweighs the bad. And with that, gamers, we have officially completed Season 1 of Cess Mania. 50 games up, 50 games down. Uh, so I think, th in total, numbers of the season, there were no 10s. There was one 9 in Space Mega Force, my number 4 overall game right now. The best shmup on the console to this point. Possibly for the whole thing. There were two 8s. Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse and On the Ball. On the Ball, the third best overall game of the season, in my opinion, and went 48th in the fantasy draft. Again, we're changing the format this year, as y'all have already seen. Um, and then there were how many sevens? The sevens were Hook, Strike Gunner STG, NHL 93, and Uncharted Waters. Which were, are all there, like, right next to each other. Yep, yep, yep. The worst games of the season, there were two ones in Road Riot 4WD and Spider-Man X-Men Arcade's Revenge. Both awful. Arcade's Revenge went, like, fifth overall to Derpy. Instead of for replay non-30-hour games... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I got 568 more games I got to play. There's no shot. No, 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 no. I don't want to slow. I want to speed up Cess Mania. I don't want to slow it down. I don't, that, that would just slow it down. I think people want to see it move forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then how many twos were there? This season got started off fucking rough. Wings 2 sucked. Wings 2 was a 2. Bart's Nightmare. Captain Novelin. Novelin. Gun Force, that shit sucked. Gods, Lethal Weapon. NBA All-Star Challenge. And Max Basic Rifle, that wasn't actually a 2, yeah. There were a, so there were like 10 games that filled out the ones and twos. Max Basic Rifle Simulator should not have gone last. Feel bad about Wings 2? Yeah, I, Wings 2 was like fine until the last couple missions. And it highlighted, I think, the things that were bad with the game. Primarily just how often you would be like that game. If, if there's a lot of like general tips I would throw out there. If someone wanted to do something like this. And when, if you got to wings two, I'd be like, put in the cheat code that gives you a radar. Cause then ships just kamikaze into you all the fucking time. Ships just kamikaze into you all the time and it feels completely random and like you can't play around it. With the radar, I think the game is actually like, it's more fun. So, yeah, it should have at worst went 48th 
and it was equal to about seven other games. Like, like there's a certain amount. I should have made Be- Max Basic Rifle Simulator a three automatically, because then I don't think it goes last. I think somebody picks it up earlier in the fifth round. I think there would have reached a point where you're like, it looks better than this. So. Oh, you got all fours and sixes? That's funny. Yeah. So there were like seven games that were up in the upper ranks. So, awesome. If you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed Uncharted Waters, all 28 plus hours of it. I genuinely had a good time. Going to be different mileage for different folks. Uh, how much you would enjoy a game like this. Uh, I got, it was second longest game of Sesmania so far. And it's once again, it's boat game. It's another Koei boat game. Next time on Sesmania, we're officially getting the next season started. Doesn't mean anything for the YouTubers out there. But we are playing a game that I... I think this looks awful. I... I Ocean's back with their fifth game. We have got... Ugh, that looks really bad on the screen. It, I don't think it looks as bad, y'all. We're going to play Cool World. Based on... A, a similar time period as, like, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Apparently, like, Brad Pitt's in this. I, I'm assuming we play as Brad Pitt. So, it's pretty bad. Okay. All right, gamers, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, YouTube.